Hi Jesus. Yeah, we just finished dinner, and uh, it was a very good dinner. And um, I'm gonna read some more uh, inspiration. I was reading this uh, this afternoon. I love reading these inspirations. They're uh, they're just so relaxing and uh, peaceful. Just listening to your words, and there's so many lessons here, just out of one, and unbelievable. This one's called Pride Bars the Way. And your words on this were, Obedience is one of the keys unlocking the door into my kingdom. Obedience. So we have to be obedient. So love and obey. No man can obey me implicitly without in time realizing my love. In his turn, responding by love to that love. And then experiencing the joy of the beloved and the lover. The rough stone steps of obedience lead up to the mosaic of joy and love that flow in my heaven. As one on earth who loves another says, where you are is home. So it is in relationship with me. Where I am is my home, is heaven. Heaven may be an assorted slum or a palace, and I can make my home in the humblest heart. I can only dwell with the humble. Pride stands sentinel at the door of the heart to shut out the lowly, humble Christ. And another bit of Bible word from 1 John 3, verse 22. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments, and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. I love the lines in here. When <clears throat> you think about it, and most people wouldn't, they, they wouldn't, uh, probably don't even like these moments, but I like them because it just means so much. Where, and as one on earth who loves another says, where you are is home. And I've said that to many people, I know people have said it to me. So it is in relationship with me. Where I am is my home. So as we work and live and walk around with the Lord, that's his home. And if it's his home, then it is heaven. And heaven may be in a sordid slum. Think about that. In the lowest part of earth. And yet heaven is there. Okay, I don't think it's, they wouldn't be suffering the things in that slum uh, area. But heaven would be there with them. Okay. Or in a palace. And I can make my home in the humblest heart. So is humility. Again, he was the humblest. So he's our example on how to be humble. If we follow and be obedient to that, then the joy of that can come into our life. And pride stands sentinel at the door of the heart to shut out the lowly, humble Christ. We are prideful humans. We need to get rid of that. I mean, it's, it's the way it is. It's, we are just servants. There was another one I read today. We're only servants. That's all we are. So we don't look at doing things and then receiving acclamation from the people that we do things for. They may give it, and we will say, I thank you for it. But we know that the actual acclamation is coming from the Lord for the work we did. Only his praise is going to mean anything to us. Good stuff. All right. I got a lot of them in today, Lord. Still going to have some more tonight. And uh, maybe Judy will join me on one. And uh, get to see her up on the internet. <laughs> That'd be a good one, Lord. Huh? Okay. So thanks for being in my life, Lord.